Jack, what was the emotions of, of playing in this game, having everyone here, and uh, how do you feel physically? Because obviously not a, not a ton of minutes, and how big an issue is the back? Um, I was very happy to have all my family out here. This is the most family I've had to a game, and to walk on the floor with my mum, dad, and sister, it meant a lot to me. Um, but, you yeah, know, I'm feeling pretty good, just trying to give anything I can to this team to help us get a win. So I'll be ready for the next two tournaments we play, and I'm looking forward to it. Tom, obviously you guys are playing for number one seed and at least to share the regular season title, but fair to say it was as important, if not more, to make sure the guy on your right got sent out the right way too in this game? Uh, more important. Um, that's what we talked about um, before the game. We didn't talk about the title. We talked about sending him out the right way um, because of all he's done for this program, all he's done for each of us, and just who he is as a person. Uh, Ty, Coach Mack was in here earlier, and he said you looked so much quicker than two weeks ago. Obviously, you had a rough shooting night at Louisville. How much was in that injury, and how much different are you now? And just maybe describe your performance tonight a little bit, how, how determined you were to have a, a game like this. Um, yeah, you know, after I played so – I shot so badly at their place, I was really excited to play them again. And they're a great defensive team and a really good team overall too. So. Um, my back's been getting better and better, and I'm, I'm pretty much 100% now. So I'm able to um, work out after practice, you know, in the morning now. So I'm not really, you know, on a strict restriction in practice. I'm able to, um, you know, really, really work work on it. I'll see on the left here. Yeah. This is for both of you guys. Mac was in here talking about how you guys have that composure of a team that has gotten to the level that you've gotten at. What characteristics do you think your team has, and maybe your players have, that kind of help you? Late in late game situations, close games out. Yeah, I mean, been in, we've been in a lot of close, tight game situations, um, and a lot of the guys are comfortable in being in those close scores late in the game situation. I think that helps us a lot, and it helps us in games like today. On the question. Yeah, same yeah um, like Jack said, we've been here before. We're experienced, um, and our coaches preach that every possession matters. Um, every game and at every point of the game. So when I guess you know late in the game, it's the same mindset we have. Every possession matters. Jack, a month or so ago, I interviewed you, and you were you were talking about how you when you first got here, you didn't really think you would play. You watched some of the guys out there, and you just didn't know how you were going to make it. How you were going to make it on the floor. What's your experience been like from that moment to now, and having the kind of seeing the 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 respect from the from your teammates? No, I came here as the first year, and there were amazing players. There was Anthony Gill, Mike Toby, Darion Atkins. Isaiah was coming with me, and it was just I was just amazed at the talent that was here. And like you said, I didn't think I was going to play. But over the years, I've just worked hard and tried to listen to the coaches and learn from the players, and I've loved my time here. I was going to ask uh, for both of you first, are you able to count how many times you've cut down nets? Because it's, it's, it's been a few times. And second of all, what was going through each of your heads uh, when you were cutting down the nets? I yeah. can definitely count, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can count, but I, hasn't, I haven't been here for as long as him, so. Um, just on the feeling of cutting down the nets, I mean, it was amazing just to be a part of this team and here for five years, I've been here a while. So just the bond I've shared with the players and the coaches is something I'll never forget. Jack, what does it mean to you when you hear Ty say over winning the ACC, over winning the number one seed, that they wanted to send you out the right way? It means a lot. I mean, I've built a such a good relationship with all the guys here, and that's probably the biggest thing I'm going to take away from my time, my five years here, just the friends and family that I've made. Josh, Jack. Jack, t Tony was saying how your first time at JPJ, there was a Taylor Swift concert going on. Do, do you remember that? And we don't, what kind of emotions do you feel as you look back on? You know, <laughs> yeah. Not not that concert, but your career so far. Um, yeah. No, I was just in, when I first came here, I was in shock because the stadium was sold out. I met Coach in his office, and music was going on in the background. It was just kind of surreal. And I committed to the end of my visit. At the end of my visit, and now five years has just flown. So, I mean, I'm just thankful that Coach recruited me here, and I've I've loved my time here. Ty, from last year's team, you lost Devin, Isaiah, and Nigel, you know, three rotation guys. Would this have struck you as a realistic expectation for this team to go 16-2 and two and win the regular season title, you know, back in July when you first started practicing or June? 
to be honest, we had higher expectations um, for this year than last year. Um, we were coming off of losing what three games last year, all of last year, to all regular season two. So, um, and we returned a lot, and we knew how much we, how hard we have to work to try to make up for losing those guys, um, especially as they end up on the defensive end too. So we knew it was going to be a new team. We knew we were going to have to find different ways to be good, but we um, probably had even higher expectations, and um, we're definitely definitely nowhere near our, our bigger goals yet. I know and how competitive you are, especially, and, and all the guys on the team, um, and what your goals are for this year. Is it weird to cut down the nets at this point with so much more to do? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say weird because you can't, you can't take this for granted. Um, like Coach Bennett said, this is over an 18-game stretch to only lose two games. Um, you can't take that for granted. You got to be really thankful for that. Um, but we got to stay humble, and we have to know um, what we're still trying to do. So it's not a weird feeling. It's a um, honestly, we feel extremely grateful. Um, all our hard work paid off in the regular season, and now we just got to get back in the gym and work even harder and try to get into an, an extra gear going forward. Ty, uh, 52 three-point attempts over the last two games. How much of that was game plan? How much of that was flow of the game? And going into the postseason, how important is it to find a balance between the perimeter game and the inside game? Um, if we shoot like we did against Syracuse, then we could just keep taking threes um, every possession. Um, no, but <laughs> it's definitely important um, to find a good balance. And I think um, Different guys came in and gave us that bounce today. Like Braxton was awesome today off the bench. Um, he got like three offensive rebounds in a row and just kept balls alive for us. And and you know everyone really. Mamadi's going to be big for us inside. Um, Dre was a little off today, but he impacts the game in so many different ways that we we're confident that we have that balance going forward. Um, and really, it's just about you take what the defense gives you. You know, we don't want to force threes. We don't want to you know force the ball to the paint. Just take what the defense gives us and play our game. Ty, this was obviously Jack's last game here. There is a chance it could have been yours when you're in a moment like that. Do you think at all, take that in, and, and does that cross your mind, or are you someone who's able to block that out? Yeah, I just try to block it out. I mean, I'm not, you know, Coach Ben always says tomorrow has enough problems. Just focus on today and, you know, never surrender the little things.